Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life where you are? Hope everything is good, everything is great here. And today I want to do two quick little reviews. I haven't done reviews in a while uh, and I enjoy doing them. So I thought we would throw a couple together real quick because I experienced two new things this weekend that I want to share with you. One uh, was good and one was terrible. So let's start with the good. Let's end on a bad note. Uh, so the good thing that I experienced this weekend was I went to see um, Detective Pikachu on Memorial Day. Um, got invited by my girlfriend to go see the movie. I had wanted to see the movie anyway, so was, of course, let's do that. And um, right up front, I'll tell you, I really enjoyed the movie. I had a lot of fun with it. It was nothing... Um, mind bending or you know wow factor was not some through the roof like um nostalgia movie it was just fun it was uh, a pokemon movie with a detective story and that was really good and i thought the story worked really well um the characters worked really well and i think the thing that i really liked the most about it was that unlike most other um attempts to make video game movies, especially the upcoming Sonic film, um, it's not, they didn't try to take video game characters and put them into the real world. They just brought the video game world to life. And that's the best part to me. It was just Rhyme City, it was just Pokemon, it was Pokemon Battles and capturing Pokemon. and It was just Pokemon. It wasn't some made up you know, version of today with just let's try to insert Pokemon and see what happens. It started off in a world where Pokemon exist and everybody accepts it and they all have uh, Pokemon companions and that's that. And, um, you know, that being said, I wish there had been a little bit more Pokemon type stuff in there, like catching and maybe, a, you know, throwing out the Pokeball and stuff like that. But um, there was one little cute Cubone scene uh, with an attempt to capture a Cubone. And it was fun how they showed that not working, um, or how the, you know, they showed the Pokemon not being captured. But other than that, there was, you know, a little scene with a Pokemon battle, but it wasn't like you would think from the video games with the way Pokemon trainer battles would go down. But ultimately, I thought the movie played out very well. There was quite a few nods um, to some, like, 90s culture, like Home Alone, and... Um, you know, it was a gumshoe movie, so there was a lot of funny moments, a lot of good jokes, you know, tied around the whole I'm not a detective type thing. Um, Ryan Reynolds worked really well as Pikachu, and they fit into the story why Ryan Reynolds is Pikachu, and it makes sense for the story, and it works very well. Um, it, I, I thought that it was going to be a little awkward, because, you know, Pikachu is like, this cute little Pika Pika, and I thought that that was going to be weird to have this gruff man's voice inside of a Pikachu, but it worked out really well. Um, I thought he played it well. Uh, I couldn't not hear Deadpool in that, but it's okay. And, um, you know, there was a tiny little, uh, not love interest, but just kind of like, uh, you know, th there was a little bit of a, of a boy-girl moment, and um, some danger, and some excitement, and some sadness, and... Um, it worked. I, I thought I had I had a lot of fun. Um, I think one of the other nice things about it is I'm very typically very critical of CGI. Uh, it just feels bad and looks bad. But in this particular case, um, it didn't look bad, and I think that's because the Pokemon are so not natural looking, and they're so colorful and vibrant um, that they can they they. they blended really well with the live actors and the natural background and stuff because they stand out. Like, it works for that particular scenario. And it seemed like they put a good bit of effort into making the CG feel right. Uh, and there was even, you know, as far as, like, filmmaking goes, there were some really fun camera moves and stuff as f that followed a lot of action that was... that felt like a person was doing this when you know it really wasn't. It was just CG. Um, and that felt great. So overall, I thought it was a really fun movie. And even if you've never seen or played Pokemon, um, I think you could you could go see the movie and have fun and laugh because it's ultimately a detective movie. It's a heartwarming story. It's, it's fun. It's engaging. And I enjoyed it. So there's that. Uh, now, the thing that I don't 
didn't enjoy this weekend is a new kind of chip. If you know anything about me, I am a chipaholic. Like, salty crunch is my worst enemy. I, you know, I would be a million pounds if I was allowed to be a million pounds. <laughs> if I could just be fed chips all day, it would just, uh, I would balloon. I love them. So I was at Walmart and I saw a new bag of chips that I had not never seen before. Some new product. And I wish I had the bag, but I, I threw it away. Uh, and they were just bad. It's just that simple. Um, and it is Lay's Poppable Sea Salt. Now, they had multiple other flavors, but I'm typically just a salt guy, so I picked those up figuring they'd be the least offensive and I could get to try the chip. The chip. Uh, the thing is, this isn't a chip. This is a highly processed food item that I was hoping would resemble Pringles. It seemed texturally that these chips felt like the kind of mush that Pringles are created from. Uh, but they also were like an attempt, I'll put some pictures up, I think, if I can find pictures. They were an attempt at like almost a Chex Mix design, but circular, so they felt they were like a chip in shape-ish. And they had good crunch, but my goodness, they tasted terrible. They were like just chemicals. Like there was so much processing going on to make these chips that there was no more chip left in it. It was just salted chemical. And it was just bad and the first hint should have been that they were two bucks like a new product that i've never seen before is already discounted um, is probably a bad sign but i bought them anyway because they were two dollars and thought i'll try it if it tastes like pringles then that's cool did not taste like pringles it had the same consistency and the same texture it just tasted terrible tasted so processed that you just uh, i probably got cancer from eating the bag that's not true but um you know, it makes me wonder, I'm not a product designer, and I've never been a, uh, a designer like that, but I have definitely gone down chasing a design idea to the point that it becomes difficult to back away from, and I could see that happening with this chip. But at some point along the line, <laughs> even if they invested a million dollars in designing this chip because they had to figure out a way to produce the thing, they should have just stopped and said, should we be making these? Because it felt like they just kind of, put it on the market because they were trying to recoup some of their losses from the development of these chips. Terrible product. Don't buy it unless you want to uh, go taste it for yourself and uh, tell me in the comments what you think of them. You could try that. That's all I have for you today. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, being wonderful people. I appreciate you and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey doc, wait, I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from memory.loc.gov. Which president was nicknamed the Little Magician? The eighth president of the United States and founder of the Democratic Party, Martin Van Buren, was also known as the Little Magician. Born December 5th, 1782 in Kinderhook, New York.